This party's a real hoot. Oh gosh, I know. I got two left feet. Wouldn't you rather hear about the captivating history of dance? Mighty fine shindig we got here. Better than the last one, that's for sure. I'm thinking I should apologize to Gramble first. But I can't muster up the words. Maybe I could use some of that there uh, liquid courage. What? Never seen everybody getting so rowdy before. Usually that means something bad's about to happen. I don't know. I remember the last party. As long as Wambus is around, I can't let my guard down. What a fabulous party. It's no Grumpa Palooza, but we make do. My darling, I'm always dancing. I'd love to storm the dance floor. But I prefer to sing along, and tragically, my vocal cords are fried. Oh. All right. Completely <laughs> missed that. Much obliged, stranger. I better talk to Gramble before I lose my nerve. Hey, now, I don't want any trouble, Wambus. Gramble, I'm sorry. I've been rude to you, and even worse to your little ones. You... you're serious? No fooling? I don't tell jokes, Gramble. I am not creative. Oh, apology accepted! Of course, no forgiving is complete without a hug! No. But I suppose a dance couldn't hurt. Snack water! Get your snack water here! Fresh, organic, cruelty f light! What are you kidding? That is business to be done here. I'm not leaving this stand till I get some of these grumps to loosen up. Woohoo! Okay. Mm hmm. She's the force to get that out of my hands. I don't... At last! Beverage service! Now I can sing the night away! Ease. The party lights double as a wave inhibitor. This party is secure. I have something important to ask Chandler, but such an annoying sibling of mine won't leave me be. You're interrupting personal business. Unless you have something intelligent to say, be gone. Rhythmic gyration has no purpose. Party treating you, Beth? Eh, mm, I've seen worse. Yeah, it's really coming together. It's nice to see everybody getting along. 
<sighs> Listen, Philbo, I appreciate what you're doing, like getting everybody here. It's way less boring now. But these grumps aren't friends. They're just making nice because it's better than being alone. Sure, but who wants to be alone? <laughs> <laughs> you're such a squeeb, but like in a good way. Aw, thanks. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the dance floor. Hope I see you there. OMG, they're playing my song! I'm gonna show them what a real party looks like. Awesome. Uh, what did you want from me? <gasps> An orb cleaved. A snow of paper shards. So. What does that even mean? <laughs> There's a party in my mouth and I'm invited! She want a disco ball? Snow of paper shards. So this. Snow of paper shards. What does that mean? Oh. What? Oh yeah. Uh huh. Ah! Ooh, that feels good. DTD down to dance, but I'm not hitting that dance floor without Snorpy. Woo! I have something important to ask Chandler, but rhythmic gyration. What? I got breaker stuff. That's gonna. Let me go look it up. I don't know.
I forgot about Triffany. I forgot about Triffany. Triffany, get it. Get it right now. Oh, I bet Floofty will want to learn all about the Desert Empire's dance of certain death. So you see, the desert dance mirrors the moves for hand-to-hand -hand combat against bug snacks. Thus, the youth were tricked into learning. Fascinating. Hiding purpose and frivolous waste. I will make use of this principle. Oh, you believe it when she says it. Triffany has convinced me of the historic and cultural value of expressive movement. Perhaps I should experiment. Phew! I'm all talked out. Makes me want to shake my tailbone. Of course, she's hitting the robot. All right. My chance has arrived. Don't blow it, Fizzlebean. <clears throat> Chandlo, I, I. We've been together for so long, and I've always wondered how you feel about me. Do, do you want to be my boyfriend? What? Bro, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, I see. Y yes, never mind. F forget what I said. Snorpy, we've been dating for years. W wait, what? How is that possible? Dude, remember that time we made out on that Ferris wheel and I said we should move in together? Uh, well, well, yes, I, I just thought that we were roommates with benefits. You know I hate ambiguity. Sorry, Snorp Dog. Is that clear enough for you? <laughs> I love you, dog. Now let's dance. Okay, bro. Ah, right. That's enough work. Now it's time to work the dance floor. I think they ain't gonna don't they? We did it, buddy. We're all together again. Well, almost all of us. But you know what? Knowing Egabella's out there gives me hope that Lisbert is out there, too. I mean... None of this would have been possible without you, buddy. I know you have to go back for your job eventually, but... I'd sure miss you if you left. And, and well, you still need to interview Lisper, right? So... Our end is nigh! What? End? Well, is, is that a metaphor, or...? Are you okay, buddy? Uh, all right. I, I know this looks bad, but as long as we keep calm... Our doom approaches! Pray to your gods, children! Shoulder, you're not it's helping. It's the queen of bug snacks! She's rising <sighs> from the depths to devour us all! The Grumpanati aim to silence us for good. Their machinations are coming to fruition! Now, hold on. We're not gonna die because of some cult or monster. That's right. We're gonna die because the volcano's going off. That's right. Wait, what? Oh, bad timing. Suppose we're gonna end up buried like all the others, eh? Come on, bro. We can survive this. As long as we got bug snacks, we'll be fine. My barn collapsed. All of my little ones escaped. Bummer. Whoa, 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 we're homeless and out of bug snacks? Oh, it's a grumpy grump world now. <laughs> uh, dibs on eating Philbo. Please do. I'm quite curious to see the result. Will Befica turn into Philbo or the bug snacks he's eaten? Hold on a moment while I retrieve my notes. Hey, 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 you don't give up yet. We may not have homes or snacks, but we have each other. I know it's pretty scary right now, but we can't fall apart every single time something bad happens. We have to stick together. Well said, Philbo. Did you get it? Bro, you're all right. What a pleasant surprise. Welcome back, Dr. Batanugget. Uh, hey, everybody. 
Chandlow, Floofty, Mr. Troubleham. Doc. I'm glad you made it. Does that mean you figured it out? That's right, Philbo. I know how to get to Liz. That's amazing! We gotta go right away! Ooh, sorry to say it, but is now really the best time? This might be the only chance we get. Liz is in danger, and this disaster is only getting started. The worst is yet to come. So spills fall for toxin unending! Quiet, you! Doctor, you are only subjecting yourself to needless risk. Elizabeth is likely deceased. Dog, this bird is alive. And we're not gonna leave her behind. I just need Philbo and, uh, Philbo's buddy. Sorry, Chanlo. Bummer. Oh. Well, what are the rest of us supposed to do while y'all were gone? You prepare for the worst. What do we need right now? Well, I'm sick of being in the dark for one. I want to know what's out there. No worries, Beth. I'll build a couple bonfires, maybe a watchtower. Whatever's out there, we'll see it coming. But what do we do when the Queen comes to devour us? Well, I have a few prototype traps that I could put to use. How about the more practical threats? You know, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, and what have you. Simple. We find a way to get off the ground if the need arises. Well, none of that matters if I starve to death. We got to starve. Yeah, no way, pal. I ain't gonna chow down on that nasty plant goop. Mm. I stand corrected. No more concerns? Great. Let's get to it, then. Gramble, darling. You have to say goodbye to them. But... But it hurts to leave them behind like this. It's okay to hurt, darling. But you don't need bug snacks, and neither do I. You're right. We'll still have a family without them. I can make the trap 20% deadlier. 25% if I hurry. Think I should take out those bridges? Only takes one good punch, bro. Good thinking. We don't know quite how many assailants we're facing. Best to be ready for literally everything. Doesn't matter what comes out of Snorp Dog. You and me together, we're ready for anything. I say we fix up the balloon, get it ready to go, and all of us pile in there. All of us? For free? <laughs> What'd you do with Cromdo? I ain't all heartless, Beth. Wow, you actually surprised me today. I'm thinking something big is coming, Wamby. And, you know... I know. Don't go giving up just yet. And don't run away this time. Sometimes it's smart to run. But I won't, unless you're right there running beside me. All right, Triffy. We stick together. Even if we're history. Looks like we're on the brink of being wiped out. Shame we only made it a year here. Hardly long enough to learn anything, don't you think? Looks like we're on the shame we only... Without them bug snacks, my garden's the only food source we got. What about the ones over there? Losing it now. How can I protect anyone if I can't even protect my own garden? Well, I mean, we have the bug snacks over there. There's like, th there's four of them here. Come to think of it. This one hasn't even escaped. There's like at least eight bug snacks here. There's enough for most of us, and the rest are just like the sauce. Without bug snacks, it's only a matter of time we before we all get on each other. <sighs> well, I might as well have fun watching who cracks first. I bet it's Wiggle. Crump me! This island wants us dead. But I'm not flying a coop without a little nest egg. As soon as I get a few bug snacks, I'm out of here, pal. I fear that I've agitated the Grumpinati with my investigations. Or perhaps this was their plan from the very beginning. Whatever the case may be, I must protect Chandlow from their machinations at all costs. This is it, dog. This is the island's final test. It's gonna take everything we've got to survive. I don't know if Snorpy's got what it takes. So I'm gonna make sure he gets through it, even if it kills me. 